coming up today on Uncensored Talk with Karen Ashley. I'm so excited today because I have the women of power. When I actually did the show, I had no idea the impact that it would have so many years later. Yeah. It was one of those things where, yeah. you know, I thought, uh, an alien? I, I, and I'm going to be in a fish mask? When I look at those like, episodes, I look like a hot bull. <laughs> I've got to say, I look like a hot bull. I was looking at some of my hair so cool. moves, when my head moved, my hair moved too, because it was so stiff. Oh. So when they fell in love with me, I was like, oh, God bless you! <laughs> If you could have changed anything, changed your color, changed something about the way you, you know, be part of the show, is there something that you would have changed? today because I have the women of Power Rangers. Woo! Yes! I mean, I'm so excited. I've, I've got my girls. My girls are in the house. That's right. I'm so excited. I have Miss Erin Cahill. Woo! Uh, I was Jen Scott from the Time Force season. Pink Miss, Ranger. Miss Nakia is in the house. Hello, <laughs> Yellow Ranger! <laughs> Um, yes, I played uh, the Zio and the Turbo Season and the Turbo Movie. Awesome. Ooh, very nice. Miss Royce. Yeah. Miss yeah. Appleby is in the Miss freaking Appleby. house. <laughs> and these girls were never in detention. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. <laughs> and the lovely, the gorgeous, oh, the sexy sing. mama herself, Miss <laughs> Raja, is in yeah. the house. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here. I was... Delphine, leader of the Alien Rangers, and I loved my people. To this day, Alan Palmer, oh my God, if you mm. get a chance to meet Alan I Palmer. I love him. So talented, so good-hearted, one of the best humans I know. So I, I am so delighted to have you all because I know the fans are so excited to see you guys and just hear you talk and all that good stuff. So we'll start with the obvious subject of Power Rangers. How is it like being a woman of Power Ranger? I know how I felt. How did? How was it for you? It's it's been so fun. Yeah, I'll start off. Hi guys. Yeah. Hi. 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 Um, you know, it's so funny because I I did it when it was my first job out of the gate, like when I got to LA. So I was, you know, nineteen, and my eyes were like the size of saucers, and I was like, everything's nice. amazing. And and I got and it was golden. You know, I'm sure you've heard the stories about our season in particular. We were. We were best friends, still to this day, our best friends. Like Absolutely. Jason Font will send me random videos. Like we were. Oh my gosh. We're like Jason is my brother. <laughs> oh my god, no, it's great. Yeah, he's he's I, he sent me a, like something, and I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> right? He's, he's crazy. Yeah. So did you see it on my Instagram? He sent me a video of him singing Xanadu. Xanadu. <laughs> <laughs> That's his favorite. I love Jason Font. <laughs> <laughs> so now I, he's I, my favorite <laughs> ranger. Oh, <laughs> so good. He's sassy. Yeah. I was Sweetheart. like, thank you for that. Going online. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's so funny because that was like my beginning of kind of like a 14-year yeah. career. Touch wood. Uh -huh. um, and then and then here, you know, 14 years later, it has had this resurgence because of Netflix yes. and mm -hmm. and everything. So it's like amazing. And I'm, and I'm reconnecting with all these people and, and connecting with all these people. And then it's such, such a beautiful unfolding. It's really great. Yeah. I know. So I feel... That showed, which I really, you know, it's kind of interesting. When I actually did the show, I had no idea the impact that it would have mm. so many years oh later. Yes. Yes. It was one Same of those years. things where, yeah. you know, I thought, uh, an alien? I, I, and I'm going to be in a fish mask? <laughs> <laughs> I don't the understand. The designer, the costume designer I know was like, you know, cover that up. Right, <laughs> right. Because the outfit, lordy, fun, but really, I mean, I could have been a tank under there. I mean, it yeah. was literally, we had like velvet leggings with a velvet tunic and yeah. 
bowling boots. It was very funny. Nice. But I mean, so, you know, and I had to blow blow hole her there with three yards yes, of long I hair. <laughs> I had so much yeah. hair and it was coming through this little, you know, this, oh my goodness. But it was such a riot. It was so sweet. And what I loved about it, and I don't know about how you ladies feel. I'm sure you must feel yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. You know, all these years later, now we're talking about female empowerment. But Saban was actually such... I mean, and he, had, he had such a vision for certain yeah. things mm -hmm. and using women in a powerful position that really emphasized other things right. than just the, you know. Right. Do you understand how yes, this right. is, right? Yeah. right. So I really, I, I really felt very good about that, being a role model for little girls. Right. And to this day, yeah. I get letters saying, the letters. Yes, the letters. The letters. Oh gosh, I know. Yeah. I go to conventions and like women, girls come up to me. They're women now. Yes. And they'll say, you were the first, you know, uh, girl that, you know, I identified with. It wasn't just about the boys. Yes. The girls were equally as powerful. Like yes. you guys saved the day this episode. Somebody else saved the day the other episode. Or the ones that get me the most are, you look like me. Yeah. Oh, For the first time, I saw someone that looked like me, and oh, I was yeah. like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I we're crying. Oh, I it's, love it. Yeah, yeah. They're so wonderful. to me, I, 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 you know, you can say whatever you want about Saban or whatever, but he honestly hired people of different races, yes, ethnicities, cultures, backgrounds, yeah. and it all just made sense. It you did, girls, right? It did. You yeah. girls showed that you didn't have to give up your femininity in order to be powerful. Yeah. You could still be beautiful and intelligent. Girly girls. And <laughs> still, yeah. still get out there and take care of the world too. And yeah. at that point in time, in the early 90s, the transition that we're seeing now in television with more powerful female mm -hmm. roles mm -hmm. had not begun. Mm -hmm. Right. And girls were wanting, you know, that yeah. second yeah. wave of feminism had stopped and they were looking for people to show them that it was okay to be powerful. I agree. This is, goes into a question that just pops into my head. How does it feel? Because along with all the girls that come to the table, you also get the boys that come to the table and they go, you were my first crush. <laughs> Oh, yes. I fell in love with oh, you. So yes. I love you. And they mean it. Like oh, the eyes, so and they kind of give you, like, you know, they think, yeah. okay, maybe I got a chance. Let me just go for it. <laughs> or sometimes they're just so sweet. And they're, they're like, so I fell in love with you. How, how did that make you feel? Oh, that, that, that is so much fun because I felt, when I look at past like, episodes, I look like a hot boy. <laughs> I've got to say, I look like a hot boy. I look like a hot boy. I was looking at some of my hair dudes with my head moves. My hair moved too because it was so stiff. Oh. So when they fell in love with me, I was like, "Oh God, bless you, <laughs> thank you." But they it like is the it's, it's, <laughs> They like the spandex. They weren't even looking at your hair, girl. Oh. Let me tell you, they like the spandex. But I just have to interject. You have always been gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yes, she had tripping. some '90s hair, <laughs> but you were still. You still had your face. I wore it, yellow it. bobby socks. Like, you know? We both did. The little yellow headband. Like, I wanted so the yellow cute. headband every day. That was a choice I made. Not wardrobe. I made that. I wanted that headband every day. Oh, that's so there I was one why. episode where I had two clips right here on my forehead. <laughs> right here. And then I had, my, my hair was curled like that. I, hot oh, mess. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hot mess. But you know what? It, it, it's very endearing. Oh, my gosh. So when was the moment? Because there was always a moment that you were like, I, I was on the number one kids television show in the world. And there's a moment that you get recognized or someone goes, oh, oh my gosh, you're, you know, they, they, they freak out, you know, when they see you. What, what were some of the moments that you guys had that you were like, oh my gosh, I did this larger than life show? Can I, can I yes. just say, the moment that it really sunk in for me was when um, we all got together, cause we were so close, yeah. uh, Jason had to be out of town. So it was me, Michael, Debbie, Kevin. We got together Saturday morning in our pajamas, oh, nice. made breakfast. We had a, a, what was that movie with Tom Hanks when he was on the island? Oh, uh, oh yeah, uh, swept away, cast away. Cast away, yes. yes. So remember how we yeah. had the ball? So yes. we got a, a soccer ball Wilson. to be Jason. Wilson. <laughs> right, Wilson. So we, we have great. all these pictures of the, the four of us That's and then so the soccer cute. ball being That's Jason. So and we sat it on the couch and we all watched the episode together. Wow. Just oh, us, no family, awesome. no friends, just the, the just. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. and it was like that was when it really I was like, oh my gosh, we're on TV! Like this thing we've been doing for months is like, we're you know, it's now that here. was the moment for me, and it's yeah. such a, like a precious memory. How about you? Um, I think when my first episode came on, and all of my family was watching, 
and I just remember sitting there. Well, you know what? No, I have to back up before that, before I even saw it on television. I remember my first day on set. Right. I was in tears inside. Oh. Like I, I, I remember going into the command center, and there were so many people there that day because yeah. I guess they needed to see if I was going to make it or not, the new Yellow Ranger. Right. right. And I was so wow. nervous. You're welcome. Yeah. I, I, I was so out, and then she kept okay. her thing. But you did a Right. Well, praise God. Because I was standing there. I was, like, nervous, and Jason Frank wants to test me. Yeah. You know how oh, Jason Yeah, is. of course. Jason. And I remember standing there. Like, yeah, I was looking around. And, um, He's an adult now. And I was, just really, I, I, was, I was really nervous. And at the same time, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is my dream. Because I was yeah. studying at UCLA at the time. I was wow. a junior in college. So I was wow. going to school to act. And here I was starting my You're first acting. series. And I was like, Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> Seriously! Oh no, that's, Seriously. That's I was like, this is, a, this is a blessing. Oh, and then when yeah. I saw my first episode, I remember just, I, my, my family called, and they were like, I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited. I was like, I'm, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you know, just, yeah, it was, it was, it was extraordinary. Aww. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, I have to be really honest. My first day on set, I was watching the Japanese footage, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, my God, what have <laughs> I got myself into? <laughs> what have I got? I totally get that. Um, yeah. But after the first season was done, I was doing an artist residency with fifth graders, mm -hmm. and it's the only thing that got me through is because I had respect, because I had been on Power Rangers. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we'll listen to her because she's a power ranger. Right. <laughs> right. That's amazing. That's great. Yeah. So this is the, the cool thing about you, Missy. You were the leader. Yes, I loved it. Like, I mean, you know, we were we weren't leaders, but we uh -huh. you know, and obviously they set us up so we had moments, we all had episodes, but you got to be the leader. How was that? I adored it and frankly I think it fits my personality. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, the dynamic was real. I have to say, you know, um, we had a really lovely group. I really, there was uh, a guy called Jim Gray. He was mm -hmm. the Yellow Ranger and Kareem. Oh my goodness. I remember Kareem. So adorable. He bought me a heater because I was cold. He was Aww. such a lovely. He was so, it was so <laughs> wonderful. Was, yeah. The first American Muslim that I met, I was like, <laughs> It was so interesting. I was like, he was very, very dedicated to Islam at the time, I remember. And he was just a very centered, very grown up fellow. It was really, really lovely. And yeah, I marshaled them around. <laughs> but the, one of the things that was really funny, I thought, okay, the night before um, the audition, actually, I was coming up with all these little hand thingies. You know, these little, you know, the. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something to, you know, to yeah. make us seem a little more alien. And I was, you know, doing all this kind of movement. And my boyfriend at the time goes, you're going to be with a bunch of guys. They are never going to go for this. You know? <laughs> doing all these signs and doing little flowers together, right? The power <laughs> things, you know, this kind of right, thing. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, I love it. I love and it. I was like, you must be choking. <laughs> Do you not know me by now. <laughs> you know, so what's great, I'm like, let them think it's their idea. So we were doing, you know, doing all these little signs. They're like, you know, because you know, they had said, come up with something, you know, some sort of symbol. I'm like, oh, Alan, I, I really like that one. We were, uh, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. And Alan is so enthusiastic. And he was like, yeah, 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 look, we can put these together. You know that word? And yes, we sucked oh. the rest of them into it. There totally. you go. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I yes, check this out. And how many guys can do this? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It was really, really fun. So it was, yeah, it was a great group of fellows who, you know, uh, I was not very close to David myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the rest of them, you know, marshalling them along, they were fine. That's With awesome. Like David, you know, grumble in the background, like, right, you can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, we are so serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Women take over eventually. Yeah. 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 We just kind of come in and take yeah. over. We yeah. do what we got to do. Yeah. Exactly. And I have to interject because I feel like yes. the fans would be upset, especially the ones that were really kind of dedicated to my season. Yeah. It's arguable that my season was the first season where the pink was the leader. Because <gasps> I came in and I was I was leading the Time Force I Rangers. I love it. Yeah. Is that so, oh, that's so good. So 
and the red kind of we kind of co-led at one point, but really yeah. I came in as the leader, so it was really, which was also that really was cool. That awesome. yes. Like that was cool. So, yeah. God, so yeah. how was that? I had to say that, that, that because I was like, I was like, oh, I know if I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. No, no, I can go. You know. Yeah. You, well, this is the thing. Your season, did, you had a kind of a wannabe love interest. We had a total love story, but Ooh. then at the oh. end, they kind of were left wanting more, right? They left them hanging because it started That's with kind of good the, though, the Red Ranger. Long and you played good. two characters. Right. He he died in the beginning. It was so oh, dramatic. Good. I got to do all this dramatic oh, work. Like, see, we need to watch the show. We need to watch the show. This is getting dramatic. We need to watch the show. I know. I, I, I keep telling Jason. I'm like, I'm gonna watch it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna watch, watch it. it. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm going to. We don't really worry. have to have yeah, like. I know, right? I mean, we have to have like family viewing night. All of us together, you know, doing family viewing night. Everybody bring a dish. We all kind of have. Yes, all of us together. Seriously, we can do this. I would do it. I would love to. We could do it at your house. We could do it at house. Yeah. She's got a great house. Love this. Yes. Yes. And then my kids can meet you and just be like, oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Well, you, the I her kids are gorgeous. Thank you. But she's like the most well-behaved, well-mannered boys. Thank you. Oh, are you no joking? No demand. Like, of it's course. Like, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Miss, Thank you. Miss Regal right. herself of has course. Regal children. I would expect yes. no less. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is another question I've gotten, and I've never felt this way. I have always felt the Power Rangers was good for me. I thought it was the best stepping stone any young actor could have. Do you feel like it hurt your career? Do you feel like it helped it? What are your thoughts? Because people have asked me, and I'm like, I think it's great, yeah. you know? Yeah. I, You know, it was my first real professional job. I think I did a commercial, and I yeah. came late. Yeah. And I was theater trained, so I had no idea about working on camera. And I have to say, and I, have, I call his name every time I'm around people, I don't know if you guys worked with Elon Rosenberg. Yes! Oh, yes! Elon! Okay. Elon! Oh, we all love of us. Elon. Oh, we yeah, love, we love Elon. 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 Elon's Elon. the original <laughs> Ranger. Yes. He's been there through it all. Elon, for some reason, liked me. And oh, it so was warm. It was like film acting 101 for me. He would put sandbags on the floor so I could hit my mark. Mm. He made sure oh, I knew which sweet. side yeah. of the camera to Such look at. He oh, taught he me good. how to work for in front of camera. It was good. So, you know, that for everything, I am feel blessed to have had that time. Absolutely. Yeah. It was, uh, like I said, I was in college at the time. I remember one of my professors, when I went back to visit while I was on the show, told me, that I was going to get typecast, that I should leave the show as soon as possible. Oh, wow. And People I told like, me that, too, and I was yeah. like, you know what? Uh, it's a paid gig. I and was, exactly. And I'm like, exactly. I'm going to school for this. Why would I leave right. a show? Absolutely. Do I have something this else to go to? That's what yeah. I think actors have a, a, I can't speak for all actors, but for me, right. I would not leave a show unless I have something to go to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Period. Right. I, it wasn't my choice to leave Power Rangers, but right. I don't think it hurt my career at all. I mean, mm. I'm able to go to conventions yes. and meet fans. Like? It's like it's it's come back. It's resurged after 20 years for me. So right. I, I would never say it hurt my career. Yeah. And between one and five percent of all actors make a living doing yeah, right. what they love. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So to have somebody give you that advice and so young, yeah. right? Absurd. Yeah. Right. It's, yep. abs it's right. absurd, really. Yeah. Right. This is what we we are doing this. I mean, right. you may not love the storyline, whatever it is, it may not appeal to you, but we are it's doing a, big ball a of cheese kid's that show. That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing a kid's show. Exactly. So, and there is a place for everything. Yeah. yeah. You know? And yeah. again, great training, right? And that was my first mm. audition ever. Yeah. So that was just, you know, that was total luck. You know, it's great. It was but in addition to that, this yeah. show has changed lives. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. And I, I would yeah. not have known that when I was on the show. I no, wouldn't have even no. thought that people would have even Were remembered you? me yeah. 20 years later. Yeah. But I still get emails uh -huh. um, I, through, my, through my website and on Facebook yep. and Instagram mm -hmm. that... In episode 365, oh, yeah. when Sean was, yes. you know, you told him that it wasn't okay to cheat. And I was like, yes. they remember more than I do. And yes. I'm yeah. so appreciative. I've seen, have you too. had this moment where you've seen an old episode of yours and you don't remember doing any of it? Oh, like, yeah. you're like, <laughs> like, you're just like, well, yeah. like, it's out of body experience. <laughs> like, that's me. Like, yeah. it's hilarious. Because, yeah. I mean, you, we were cranking them out, you yeah. know? So it was like, mm -hmm. you didn't have time to just soak in the moment or even know, you know, especially... When we were doing the movie, we had we weren't even on the show. Like we're shooting some episodes, we went did the movie, and then when we came back, it was like people knew who we were, right. and we were right. like, 
what the heck? Like, you know, so, I mean, it was very out-of-body experience. Um, so if you could have changed anything, changed your color, changed something about the way you, you know, departed the show, is there something that you would have changed? Uh, for, well, for me, I, 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 I wish we could have shot two endings. Because yeah. so often the fans, like ours, yeah. it was like a love story. Mm -hmm. And it ended kind of like, he, I had to go back, I had to go back to in time, you know, to the future. Of I mean, like, back, I know. <laughs> so it was like a very complicated thing. And I wish we could have had two endings. Just to make everyone happy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so cute. It's so I wish adorable. there wouldn't have been so many um, at the end, because there was so much that went on when we ended up leaving the show. Yeah. Um, I wish it wouldn't have, I wish it wouldn't have ended. I would have loved to continue to do Power Rangers. Right. Um, and then I would have created more storylines for Adam and Tanya. Not necessarily them being a couple, but right. more storylines for right. them. Because right. when I got on the show, we had I had a lot of storylines, you know? And then it just kind of, okay, we know who she is, so we'll move on to somebody mm -hmm. else. I know, so. it's weird, because the way that they did that, I always felt like you need to give each character something, because really, people identified with someone different. Like, yeah. not one group of kids mm -hmm. like the same person. Everybody had somebody. So exactly. I felt like you needed to give each person that attention. Yeah. For yeah. sure. So what did you think about that new, like, when they had the reunion, the whole mega force kind of, what was your thoughts about that? Because it was kind of weird for some of us, but what are your thoughts about, people talk reunions all the time. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts about that? I thought it was great. I wish I could have been there. I, I couldn't. I was with my family. My dad was in Afghanistan at the time, so we were oh, wow. we met in mm -hmm. Ireland. And I was just, I had a choice, and I made the hard one. But yeah. I wish I could have been in two places at once. And I thought it was great. Like, fans wanted it, you know? Yeah. And I wish it could have somehow magically been all of us. Right. You know, like, I wish the, that there yeah. was nobody That's excluded. the only thing I wished. I wish mm -hmm. that nobody they could have figured it out. If anybody could yeah. figure it out, they could have figured it out, you know? Right. So nobody they was sent excluded. the invitation to all of us, uh, yeah. so figure it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish it would have I wish it would have been done differently. I wish yeah. that, um, like you said, I wish they could have figured it out where uh, when you send out feelers like that, you don't, how do you say it, you don't... Um, not go through right. on what you right. say. Right. That that's that's what right. I, I right. would say about yeah. the whole thing. And, and for those that don't know, mm -hmm. there was an invitation, kind of like a, just mm -hmm. an open letter, I don't mm -hmm. know, and basically invited everybody. And then when it really came down to it, there were only six, seven people that were chosen. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it wasn't really an invitation. I think they were just seeing well, who would buy it. We all know that it's down to bucks. That's the reason why. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't give them that I, out. I that's a either. that's a what a billion dollar industry. Yeah. I think yeah. Well, you know, you know, it's sort of interesting because I think that uh, I got a lot of letters from fans. Saying, they were mad at us, and I was like, "Don't be mad at me." Oh, like yeah. it wasn't presented. Yeah. Like it, it was not. Our, on my, and I've yeah. tried to say that yeah, before too. Like, I even yeah. saw that on Facebook that yeah. oh, Nikki and Blake are saying the exact same thing, and I'm like, "Like we planned it." No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. yeah, and uh, but I really think you know I, I don't know on on my page I have a really it just seems like I have a really good line of communication with a lot of my fans. Mm -hmm. You, you do. Know what I mean, I see that. And I, yeah, because I really I mean I you take the time. Speak my to really, I speak my yeah. truth. I really yeah. do, and I feel that because there are so many special needs darlings that I love mm -hmm. on that on my mm -hmm. page, and because there are so many fans. I mean, the the reason I actually um, started up a little page was that at one point. I had no idea why all these kids were friending me on Facebook. I'm like, all of a sudden, it's really good. I'm like, right. they want somebody's mom. I'm like, I'm your mom's age. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I you know. Yeah, I know. I like, exactly. And then I got this really important email, this really important Facebook message that said, I just want you to know, because she's an adult now, you saved my life when I was a child and she wow. was having abuse issues in the home. Wow. Very bad abuse issues in wow. the home. She said, I pretended I was you. Wow. And I... You lose it at that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. You I lose thought, it, right? I have a responsibility. God gave me that gift of giving me this job that I didn't know was so important all those years yeah. ago. And now it's come back around where I have to give back. Right. And this is my way of giving back. So 
I'm very, I speak very strongly about bullying, about standing up for your own voice, having your own voice and not being afraid, no matter what your cool friends or the friends mm -hmm. you, or people you think are cool, yeah. whatever they think, if they're not behaving in a way that you know you'd be proud of, don't follow. Don't be a follower, be a leader. Right. And for me, the Power Rangers was very much that. Again, female yeah. leader, female yeah. empowerment, all this kind of thing, but don't be a follower, be a leader, do good. Again, I'm sure all of us have our um, have the same underlying theme. Yeah. For me, also, the Alien Ranger is about environment, about water, respect, a gentle society, you know, defending good and all this kind of you thing. You were really perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I it's almost it. like... <laughs> For me, yeah. it was really, it really was like so interesting that that was, it's my wow. life theme. Yeah. And so I do take the time to speak to my fans. Right. And when there are shootings, I speak to my fans. I, I really feel that I have a responsibility. Well, yeah. you're speaking uh, to other people too, sweetheart, because I wait for your... Yeah, I know! Oh. We love, we all are friends. <laughs> They've yeah. asked me for cal to do calendars of these things, and I thought it was so touching. They're like, can you put uh, your, you know, your lessons in a book or in a calendar? And I thought, God, you know, Let's make that happen. Yeah. You know, I, I would, so, long as it, so long as it would help some of these people, that's the key. Right. If it changes a couple of people's lives, like you ladies are doing wonderful work with charity. And I see that. Yeah. You, I'm proud. I'm like, there are my little sisters, yeah. the girls that came out. <laughs> it's like a family. Isn't it crazy it's how nice. it doesn't yeah. matter what season you were on? Yeah. It's exactly. like we see each other and we're like, hi. Yeah, like we just like zone into each other. Know, so, you know, conventions is what has done that. It's, yep. It yeah. really it's has. It's really the family reunion every couple is. months or every month you see people. It is yep. because yeah. I was not, I was not as connected yeah. with you, and I hadn't met Aaron. I met no. Aaron last year, I think, for the first time, and right, and no. we were just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like we, we knew each other forever. Yes, you're yes. yeah. so lovely. I was like. Mm. So I, and I feel really blessed that you guys involved me because, Absolutely. you know, the thing of, of it is, the fans get upset with me, too, that I don't go to more conventions. But in terms of the business, I was just a day player. No. So? No, sincerely. Oh, okay. I was just a day player. She played such a vital part, I feel. And that's why I sent the invitation to you because I felt like, you know, you were... A part of the show we mm -hmm. were in class a lot like you know mm -hmm. and miss appleby would scold mm -hmm. you know bulk and skull and she had really funny moments in the show and i feel like that really made us kids because i mean mm -hmm. honestly we weren't kids we were you know young adults playing yes. children you know or playing teenagers and it was like it was so it's so cool watching scenes with you. I always wanted to be in danger and have the Rangers. We save just have oh, 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 like, oh. Yeah, that's a great. We might need yeah. to do a fan film and like it's like save Miss Appleby. That might be the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nowadays we can film it ourselves. Yeah. What do you think about the reboot? There's a reboot. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I want to be a part of it. I'm excited. I, 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 I want to be a cameo. That's yeah. what I said. I have my reps called. Let me play it. Yeah. Yeah. Fill me in. I want to know more about this. Well, I know as one much as, season. I know as much as you guys know. Yeah, I yes. I know that Lionsgate, you know, they're doing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's a new reboot. So I'm sure there's going to be a new cast and a new, you know, they right. do yes. it bigger and better. But we can have cameos. There you yes. go. There you yep. go. Or, and hey, like exactly Spock, in, uh, you know, in Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we could be we'll like, be you know, I could be like, we'll Delphine be somebody's comes mama. back to teach me <laughs> Delphine. We'll, we'll, be, yeah. Yeah. we'll yes. be somebody's mama. <laughs> <laughs> or like really cool cousins. Yes, yes, right? Yes. We could cool. be the cousins. sages. Yeah, the sages. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. yeah. No, I, I love like it. being a sage. That would be great. I love it. Yeah. And it's funny because I asked Walter, I asked David, I asked Austin, I was like, what do you think? And Walter, Walter's reaction was, I want to be in it. Yes. yes. So, Austin was a darling. I called Austin her up right away. I, was like, I worked with him as well. Yeah. He's very sweet. Yeah. So, I, I think it's great. So, going to another phase, obviously, Power Rangers lasted so long in your life, and then you've lived this amazing life after. Tell me some of the things you guys have been up to because you're phenomenal women. You hinted towards the charities, you hinted towards all that stuff, but uh, this thing, I see you all the time. <laughs> I see both of you all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been good. Acting has been, I mean, like really, really amazing. Uh, I've had, I've just been like, it's just so lucky to work on a bunch of shows, like 30 something guests. I've been to series regular a couple times, helped a few films, like 
I've been very, very lucky in work. So, you know, you can go online and see all that stuff. And that's really yeah. great. Always when people go, what have you been up to? I'm like, it's easier just to go on IMDb. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, actually, last night I was at a party and a guy that's was like, I just thing. saw your episode of blah, blah, blah. And you worked with this guy from the show. And I went, oh, I did that too. And he goes, oh my gosh, you were this character. So he had just seen me in two different things, like back to back. I was like, this might be the greatest moment in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, like, and he was like, oh, um, Oh my gosh, I'm rambling. So, how are you really, really integral in starting? Um, I had not had the opportunity to volunteer. I didn't grow up with parents who had me volunteer. They were philanthropic in their essence, but mm -hmm. I just didn't grow up doing that. Right. And Power Rangers, our season anyway, worked with Make a Wish. Oh, we so, yeah. Loved them. Yeah, we all loved did. it. Yeah. Loved it. Changed my life. Yeah. Like yeah, from that them. moment on, I started doing charity work. I volunteered, which is what I want to talk to you, mm -hmm. um, in downtown LA every weekend after mm -hmm. Rangers, every weekend with children with children in downtown LA. Like, um, any hours program, and then I started, and then my friend and I co-founded a charity group, uh, like about two years ago now. Okay. And, but ever since Rangers, I've been consistently volunteering, and it's gotten more and more. And it Rangers started it for me. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. What about you, Miss Lady? Um, what are you been what, married what, since Power Rangers? I know. Been married wow. for fourteen years. I have two wow. kids, a thirteen-year-old and an eleven-year-old, Nolan and Nyan. How nice. Um, Power Rangers was definitely a blessing. Um. I've done, you know, a lot of commercials, and and people seem to recognize the State Farm commercial. Yes, I could be anywhere and be like, they'll tell me, right? Sprinky! You know, right. <laughs> that's what the baby that's says. Funny. Yeah. So that one has been a, an amazing commercial. But yeah, I've done a lot of voiceover, which has been a blessing, and. Um, you can go on my website nakiabaris.com. Yes. And then I don't yes. have to tell everything, but um. But it's been it's been great. I'm working on a web series right now. Um, yeah, well, I it'll have be written awesome. back in 2009 a show called Crazy Days, and I'm re rewriting, revamping, and I plan on making it into a web series. And right. God willing, it'll it'll end be up great. being picked up. So that's what I'm working it'll on. It'll be amazing. Yay. Yeah. So that's look out huge. for that. That's Miss great. Royce. Um, I have a very small career, but I get to work as an actor. And actually, the last couple of years has picked up because I think I've made that driving Miss Daisy change. Oh my gosh. You know? <laughs> You're the hottest Miss Daisy I've ever had. <laughs> uh, but now I'm I'm set for the older roles and, and a woman Great. of size in this town has difficulty finding roles sometimes. But I've I've had a good year. I just did Birthday Boys, which is on IFC. Nice. Uh, it should be coming up pretty soon. Very, very tiny role. But I'm a teacher in the real world. I teach at Glendale Community College. I teach theater arts oh, and nice. I design I costumes. Oh. And um, I'm in the process of writing a book called Getting Dressed An mm -hmm. Actor's Guide to Costume. Oh, I love it. Um, I that love it. Talks about how yeah. to deal with Phenomenal how, woman. Because I believe that uh, costume is. is an integral part of character development. Yes. Um, it talks well, we about... all wore costumes. And like, yes. what does that do? Of like, course. your color and your spandex and your helmet. And I mean, yeah, it the really. The in the hair. Yeah, the little <laughs> things in the hair. It like added to that moment. It, it yeah. like, you really were like, I was like this bubbly character. And so, yes. I mean, I, I really was that. And they dressed me like that. So and. Cute. You know, I mean, you're when you're like, so first, darling. I am. I'm, so I'm darling. like the bubbles. Like, you I are need to be so darling. Bubbles because I'm bubbly. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, I'm bubbly. Yeah. Little bubbly. Yeah. Little bubbly. Yeah. yeah. So, but I, I mean, but it was like they played upon what was there, which yes. it sounds like with you, you were the leader, and they played upon what was there. <laughs> like totally they were at least yeah. smart enough to kind of watch. They us really were good and at that. Go with what yeah. was yeah. working. The writing you know? was not bad. Really, the writing yeah. was not bad. We had fantastic yeah. writing our season. Our storylines were awesome. Ours were good, but it was like they would like forget what they wrote, and so <laughs> then they would like come back, and we were like, "But we did something totally different like, two episodes ago." And so, but it was it was for kids. Yes, yeah. yeah. and there were life lessons. Yes, I love totally. life yes. lessons. Yes. And it just because I know Roger's about to talk to you, yes. but I, you were talking about costumes. You were talking about costumes, and William had asked me earlier. Mm -hmm. Because now I, I, you put, I put the costume back, back on, on yeah. for the first time. Omar. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I'm never going to put spandex on again. When I put that costume <gasps> on, I told Kat, I was like, Oh I goodness. feel empowered. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm gonna morph. I don't know that I would feel that way. Um, you go, girl. I felt that. I felt that. Good. No, I did. 
<laughs> I feel so good. I think that is so I mean, that's fabulous. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, amazing. Yeah. that's amazing. So you, what have you been up to, my lovely? And then we want to hear from you. Oh, yeah. Yes. We have to hear from you, girly. Yes. I know. Right? You interviewed me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> so I'm in charge, Raja. Shh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Take over. No, it's no, no. I'm you. <laughs> um, you know, I've been so incredibly blessed. Mm. You know, I um, I actually chose, and it was kind of odd. Um, I was one of those people who was really, really lucky. If I auditioned for something, I usually got it. Nice. I was very, and I made the decision quite early on. I had a choice. I was offered an incredible spokesmodeling gig, which meant that I could travel the world wow. on somebody else's dime. Mm. Nice. Yes. See, and it was, you know, they said, well, you could do this for a number of years, or you could continue with the acting career. Most people said, are you out of your mind? You've got to go for the acting thing, you know? Yeah. And I was really torn because I loved it. That's my life's blood. I really love it. I love the expression. I love creating other characters. I, I love just, you know, being able to share with that mm -hmm. many people in effect their emotions, make them laugh, make them think, make them cry, make them feel with me in that moment. I think we right. all have that, yeah. right? Yeah. But I made the decision that I wanted to see this beautiful world and meet these incredible people. And I felt so lucky. Mm -hmm. And I did that for seven years. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the men sent me, you know, a few days early and a few days late and paid, like, I stayed at the most unbelievable oh, places. You saw the yeah. to oh, You had to. The world. Yeah. You had I know. to. I had no oh, choice, right? Yes. And then Gosh. when I got back, I fell right into voiceover because it seems like nice. I can match anybody, like, any woman's voice. Um, that's a gift. eight and, like, 70. I love it. Wow. That that's what I do. Yeah. I replace A-list actresses if they if the director doesn't love the scene or if uh, the sound amazing. is not great like so i go I in and they hardly ever i didn't know that either well you don't get a lot of credit but yeah. i this is my this is what i do for yeah That's and incredible. yeah like and so, That's so and amazing it's really amazing and i don't i don't even want to say the names but several of the a-list actresses said said no no that's me meaning that's them and it was not. It was not. And one of the biggest actresses in the world is like, she's the only one I want doing me. And I was like, it was That's really great. Because if she could, so if she could not get back, you know, because of course they're yeah, so expensive. They're, they're on to the next course, project. Yeah. Then yeah. She's like, her, her performances are layered and complex and blah, blah, blah. So, of course, you know. Yeah. I so great. Yeah. So I loved it. Right, right. So I loved it. I'm, I'm so mad. glad we got together. <laughs> so great. This is, I mean, I didn't even know that about I you. Know. I didn't yeah. know. I had no idea. And luckily, yeah. science fiction got back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, did Starship, Starship Rising nice. and the Edge of Darkness. And yeah. So there are two, two films that we filmed simultaneously. By yes. Neil Johnson, and I played somebody entirely different, very wicked. Oh, I, yes. I, I, like <laughs> I like it. I like it. So we we've all got to figure yes. out a way to have Ranger movie night. Yes. And we all got to figure out a way to like work together. Yes. And, like on the same project. Maybe we should create something, something and yes. just do it. And but I want everyone to know how they can find you guys um, because I know fans they love getting in touch with us. They love talking, sending letters. Those yes. letters are, are amazing for our soul. If you don't know, those, some of those yeah. letters have yes. really changed yes. my life. So yeah. how can they find you? Uh, on Facebook, actually, is probably the best way. Yeah. The amazing Karen, she runs my Facebook page. It's just, if you Google, I, I don't know. I don't Facebook, yeah. obviously, so yeah. I'm like, Google, you don't do that? Yeah. Um, you type in Aaron Cahill, official and you're there. page, and you'll pull it up. And then on Instagram, I'm EJ Cahill. And I'm pretty good about answering on Instagram. Awesome. Um, I'm on Facebook, and I, I do answer all of my, I try to answer all of my messages. Um, Nakia Baris, two R's, one S. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll flip that. And I'm on Instagram, and uh, my website is uh, www.nakiabaris.com. They must spell and my name all the time. Yeah, too. even at conventions. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I on my website, I have the conventions that I'll be at. Um there's t-shirts and and uh, autographs that you can buy and things like that and you can keep up with everything that i do yay yay, yay. Great. facebook yes just royce heron royce heron stay in touch <laughs> <laughs> and my love yes raja is delphine and it's r-a-j-i-a 
as they'll be. I love it. Facebook. I love it. And you guys know I'm official Karen Ashley. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, so you can find the me there. The multi-talented. Yes! yes. The Ms. Ms. Karen. Karen. I, I, I did. did. The I hostess. I, I love it. I, I, I got into... Obviously acting, but it really spun producing and writing yes. and hosting. But I, yeah. I just don't want to do one thing, so yes. I'll do yeah. everything at least once, right? Good. Totally. The yes. most yes. talented you. Yes. yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Uncensored Talk. And thank you. Thank you. Thank, women of thank you. Lots of love. love. you so much. And thanks, thank you guys. You. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. Women of power. Well, I don't know what this is. Well, I just said this. It's like a little bit on the way out. Yeah. <laughs>